I was raped by a doctor, which is, um, you know, so bittersweet for a Jewish girl. If you got a joke and it goes, diddly 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 boom, or you gotta go diddly diddly boom, diddly diddly boom, diddly diddly boom. You, you can't have too much dilly dilly before the boom. Your style chooses you. You don't really choose it. A professional comedian with dates on the calendar for next fall, and I don't have any jokes. I don't do it because I want to. <laughs> I do it because I have to. I cannot imagine uh, not being able to do it anymore. I'm so proud when I write a, a one-liner. Uh, I'll give you a one-liner. Like it's set up, fail, set up, fail. It's mathematic, it's music, okay. The best contraceptive for old people is nudity. <laughs> there's dirty stuff, there's raunchy stuff, there's clean stuff, there's quirky stuff. No taboos. It's, the challenge is to make the worst, most horrific thing funny. One of my taboos, uh, doing well with crowds. Everything I do looks like it's in the moment, and it is, because I'm experiencing an unnatural naturalness or a natural unnaturalness. Driving through sort of a shitty neighborhood and I saw a bird. I turn to my friend, I go, why would a bird live in a shitty neighborhood? <laughs> my friends are like, are you high? I'm like, how did you know? Come be my MySpace friend. Facebook, don't forget Facebook, and I'm Twittering right after the show. Check out what happened during the show. You just saw the show, now find out what you saw during the show. Twitter me, Twitter you, Twitter everybody. Do you have a web page? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, if it's Oprah, you don't give the microphone. When you're on stage, it's yours. I did, man. I said, well, if you think you're funny here, I gave it to her. Shit, she was funny. <laughs> I said, what is this, some white supremacist group in here tonight? And they say, yep. I was looking at a box of Hot Pockets. They have a warning printed on the sign. <laughs> so, warning, you just bought Hot Pockets. <laughs> Hope you're drunk or heading home to a trailer. I really feel like truly blessed to be doing comedy right now. Um, I would like a private plane. I hear the audience laughing. I feel pretty and thin. It's an addiction to the actual palpable sense of the sound and the laugh and the energy. I do it because I miss the connection with the audience and uh, I ran out of money. And uh, then I got a, a really big laugh and it was just the greatest. It was the greatest thing I'd ever felt in my life. Like it's set up, pay off, set up, pay off. Diddly, 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 boom. I had a lady the other night say that was the best show I ever went to I didn't want to go to.